Welcome to Home Sweet Home. Every week, the best home experts on the Sun Coast reveal their best tips and best tricks for inspiration and transformation. It's your beautiful home hotspot. This week, outdoor living at its finest. Swimming pools come in many different shapes and sizes, from traditional rectangular to more unique and custom designs. Of course, when Superior Pools is the contractor, there's nothing traditional about them. Hello, I'm John Krawczyk with Superior Pools, and this is my wife, Danielle Krawczyk. We are here at the Sorby Residence to show you this tranquil paradise with this amazing view. Hi, my name is Alan, and this is my wife, Sherry, and um, welcome to our humble abode. We moved here about six years ago, and the area is called Riverwalk Hammock, and it's a lovely nice small area which is actually a cul-de-sac so it's, there's no through traffic and I love the fact that there's a preserve behind us here and uh, that really keeps down on the um, the things going on around you it's very beautiful it's one of the main reasons that attracted us to here we originally wanted to go for a something on a golf course for the same kind of view thing and somebody quickly reminded us of the fact that uh, they have lawnmowers that go off at five o'clock in the morning so uh, we quickly gave up on that so I certainly do love the area and the neighbors are fantastic. Great community-minded place. So we've been in the house nearly six years now. It's uh, about 2,500 square feet, um, two garage, four bedroom, three full bathrooms. Uh, although we did turn one of the bedrooms into a den, which we do like and use the other one as a library. But the whole shape of the house and the fact it was obviously permitted for a pool ahead of time was one of those things that we thought, yeah, we've got to take advantage of that. The lanai was pretty small, and yet we've got this beautiful view behind us. So we took advantage of that and extended it out and had the pool and, and the back half of the uh, lanai. So it certainly added to the appeal. The windows and the view is all centered around this area, which is a good and a bad thing. It's good because you can see your um, the highlights of, of your pool and area, but it's a bad thing in the sense of we had nowhere to stick the TV or even the um, to find space for the kitchen, an outdoor kitchen. So, uh, but it's okay. My wife has me covered there. She bought me a green egg. <laughs> right when I came to this house, at first this house is set up for design just like this. It certainly is. There, you know, there's this house. I don't care if you would have said I'm gonna give you an extra ten thousand dollars to do a kidney shape. I probably wouldn't have done it. This house needs to be like this, square and corners. It shows off the house perfectly. Yes, and the view as well. It's really important to get that view in there. I, I would say we're pretty decisive in that, you know, we did a little research, you know, found a couple of three vendors and then quickly landed on Superior as we started talking to them. They were by far the, the probably among the best group of people that we talked to. Um, we didn't really know exactly design, but when we started working with Danny, who helped us, you know, do the concept, um, it just started coming together pretty quickly. Uh, you know, Alan, I think, kind of liked the idea of like square angles and whatnot. And she kind of ran with that um, and started putting in like, you know, kind of just kind of building on what we had been telling her. Um, yeah, I totally agree with that. The first two people were trying to do the curvy pull effect. And if you have a look at the actual structure here, it's, it's very angular. It's all about the angles and the view. So to me, it was just, you know, trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Kind of ran with it. So, and, and Danny, you know, did a great job and um, the splash deck was something that we loved the idea of. And then when Danny came up with the, uh, the spa being level with the pool, with the uh, water flowing over the edges of it, I mean, that, that, was, the, uh, that was the deal maker, definitely. Yeah. And then we did add a fire feature to the pool, which was sort of a, I'd say it was an afterthought, but I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we had? And then she kind of added a, a place for us to do that. And we've been very happy with it ever since. I think pretty much everybody we've talked to has talked about how unique it is. Uh, particularly a lot of the like service people that like kind of work with pools and whatnot. Um, a lot of people we've talked to have been like, "Oh wow, that's that's nice. I see a lot of houses, and this is unique and different and whatnot." I really like the way they, that you've done that. The beautiful preserve behind Alan and Sherry's home in Riverwalk Hammock is what attracted them to the area. So when it came time for a pool, it was important not to obstruct it. Coming up, we'll find out how the view was incorporated into the design. Today, the air is perfect. It's 
inside. Expect more from your cooling and heating. Daikin. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's got to be a kitchen from Murotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. Buying or selling? Home inspections are not only vital when buying, but selling a home too. They can save you money and speed up the sales process. For questions, call Dave Marvel, certified master inspector and educator at Peace of Mind Home Inspections, a veteran and family-owned company. Smart home technology has come a long way. You can monitor your home from anywhere and create schedules to adjust lighting, temperature, and so much more. Today, all of this can be controlled with one easy-to-use app. For more information, contact Tempest Pro Services, the area's leading technology experts. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. The wow factor for me was the spa, being in the house looking at it. Great piece of advice we got from a friend. They said, oh, you're building your pool? They said, don't put the spa on the outside looking in at your house. That was the first thing he said. And I was like, good point. He says, yeah, the last thing you want to do is be staring at your house when you've got a great view out your backyard. It's called a champagne spa, 360 spa. How, you know, you obviously had that in your mind or did Danny push you into that or how'd that come about? Oh, we definitely worked in tandem, that's for sure. One of the pieces of great advice I got from my friends was make sure you don't have the spa on the outside looking in at your house. Especially with this view. Exactly. And we, it kind of made sense. So when we went shopping with Danny and said, look, just don't want it on the outside. It has to be on the inside. And then Danny came up with this, with the infinity look and it being lower and level with the actual travertine. I thought that, that was the effect we we're looking for. It doesn't interfere with the view. When you come in the house, first thing you see is first the pool thing. and it's part of the pool, you know, and it doesn't obstruct from the view. Well, and that, that's the thing, a lot of people, they do the spas and it's raised up and it takes away from everything. You know, that's the only thing you're looking at. But when you walk in here, you're seeing, you know, it's a hole. Yeah, it's part of, it's part of the picture, that's for sure. I was pretty clear that I wanted travertine. I had to get, had to get comfortable with wanting travertine, but I, you know, we were pretty clear on it. Um, and we saw some samples and it was pretty easy to pick out. They had a really good set of samples for us to look at. And Alan and I very quickly kind of said, we kind of like this tone and this color. And, we kind of ran with it, so. Yeah, we knew the natural uh, beige color of the house in the first place. And we wanted to do, the, the one thing we were both certain of, we didn't want a bright blue pool. So that was easy. As soon as that was out of the equation, we, um, we went for the more subtle colors, which gave us an opportunity to have some of the darker colors in the pool to bring it together again. So that was, and again, the, plenty of choices in the um, uh, Superior Pool office so we can grab stuff and put it next to it and, and build it ahead of time and then along with their 3d software to uh, for the actual design of the pool I mean that gives you that visual um, up front you get to see the visual benefits straight out of the gate yeah that 3d software certainly was a big plus for us took any guesswork out of it nowadays people are picking glass tiles that are real shiny and really stand out but this whole thing is, you know tiles the tile on the spa to the pool tile. Maybe explain how you came to that or... Uh... Well, it's one of those things, um, how, do, how do you get it to blend, right? So st sticking with the more muted colors, but darker, and then, but throwing in some of the, the, uh, the glass tiles there to give it a bit, a bit of a spring you know, or, or a shine to it. That, that was what we we're trying to pull off. So it wasn't, like you said, just glaring at you, but it did blend together. Subtlety was what it was about. How'd you come about to pick your pebble finish? I know you said you didn't want bright blue. This is actually uh, Tahoe blue, uh, Stonescapes. And uh, it's one of my favorite, but it's it's that blue lagoon look. And, yeah. you know, it, it's really uh, soothing with your whole look here. As my wife said, tranquil. And it, it is, you know, it's real relaxing and everything just ties in. It certainly does, yeah. And 
Those muted colors, the, the very light on the travertine, the darker on the edge, kind of made the blue uh, float. I don't know, too many people know this, but they, they call me Martha at the office because I'm into the colors. And so I teach my knowledge to everyone there. And it, it's huge to have them know their colors and to help you guys out too, right? Mm -hmm. Because Absolutely. a lot of times that tile room is overwhelming. So you go, they say go in there and pick something, you pick something, and you don't know what it's gonna look like, right? So it's always good to have their knowledge. It's always good to use different tiles. So, mm -hmm. you know, we don't know what it looks like until it gets on the job site, so. Yes, but again, the, the choices you have there and the fact that you can grab them and put them together and you can immediately see if they're gonna work or not, I think that helped out a lot too. Having real samples there and then putting them together, it was very easy to, and quick to say, nope, doesn't work, try the next one. So that, that helps a lot, having the tools available so the customer can see it. We, we know who we are. We know we're not gonna be swimming in this pool every day, okay? So it's gonna be, we have the spa for when we want to just sit and relax at night, but we knew the, the thing that would coax us into the pool more frequently would be that splash deck and the two chairs in there. So it made sense to put the umbrella in there and then bring some colors into it, a little bit sharper color right. to kind of uh, make it blend with the rest of the house. You know, and I'm, we tell people all the time that pools really in Florida aren't meant to be swimming, they're meant to relax and get wet and cool off. Exactly, and that splash deck helps a lot. I mean, it's, it's part, of the, part of the image there. We only have to get our feet wet, right? <laughs> well, the good thing too is you get your spa, you got your pool, you got it all right here. Yeah. So you can put your uh, feet on the sun shelf, sit in the spa, spin around, you can jump into the pool. You know, you, you got it all. The main focal point, and this was kind of, you know, uh, more your idea with the fireplace. Right. And uh, it turned out amazing. So if you want to talk about that a little bit on, you know, it's on right now, but I'm sure at night it looks amazing. And uh... Oh, it certainly does. It works a lot better with the actual lights in the pool as well. Those LED lights, the way they change, and then the fire in the background. Because you don't see your uh, view at nighttime, yeah. so that becomes your next focal point. So it really comes together very well. And uh, the glass we used in there, again, was the fire glass. It's, again, complementary to the, the colors we already have in the pool. We wanted to stay away from those kind of bright orange right, colors yeah. and whatnot. Well, the fire glass you see is that bright blue and... Right, you know, purple right. and stuff. But again, that's that's perfect. So yeah, it's all about the, the little things and making sure they all blend. So, and we love the fireplace at nighttime. It, it kind of adds to the effect. And the way our sun comes over and then sets over there, so you got a nice sunset coming in. And just as it's kind of in that twilight period, that's when it looks its best. Did you know about our open view cages before you came to us? Or did not. No, yeah. that was fantastic. Yeah, and making sure it was balanced and fitted with the view was incredible as well. Did you know uh, that once it was presented, you wanted to go with this, or it was a little bit of toss-up? Or oh no, it was it was as soon as we heard about it, it was a done deal. And then how'd you go with uh, white, why white over bronze? That's one of the beauties of living in an HOA, I guess. Oh I, really? It is. Because yeah. that's the first thing I was like, what white cage? I usually try to talk people out of them. Yeah, we would love to have went there as well, but really, we have to comply. Uh, I hear you. <laughs> HOAs, uh, whatever they say, you have to do. Up next, Josh with Superior Pools explains a common misconception about saltwater pools. They're not free of chlorine. After all, it's the chlorine that provides sanitation for the water. Let's meet Josh. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's got to be a kitchen from Eurotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. Smart home technology has come a long way. You can monitor your home from anywhere and create schedules to adjust lighting, temperature, and so much more. Today, all of this can be controlled with one easy-to-use app. For more information, contact Tempest Pro Services, the area's leading technology experts. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Hello, I'm Josh with Superior Pools. I run the service, the warranty divisions, the pool cleaning service, 
and as well the end of the construction. I set up inspections and I run the pool schools and I talked with the customers about taking care of their pool in between the startup process and the pool school when we hand it over to them. So this is our first salt pool mm -hmm. and I know that I'm not swimming in salt water, it's obviously a process that turns into chlorine. Can you explain that for us? Well, you have a salt system out at your equipment, which is the salt cell. It has plates inside there. When the salt is run through and the output level kicks on, there's a little cell light. That's when it's producing chlorine throughout the day. And what it does is you have the plates in there. With the salt, the plates, and the magnesium, when it kicks on, that's what creates your chlorine. That's what makes your chlorine. Um, and the salt gotcha. that you have in there is not like the ocean salt. So. So it's still making chlorine, but it's doing it from salt. Correct. Gotcha. Correct. So what kind of salt do I buy? Is it big rocks? Is it table salt? I mean, the best salt that we use is it's called aqua salt and it's a food quality. It's mm. as fine as table salt. So you can actually take it and you could eat it if you really want it to, to be honest with you. <laughs> I can add it to my fish and chips. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no, yeah, with your fish and chips. Yeah, and your goodness, right? Um, <laughs> but actually the, the salt that we use, it doesn't see the light of day until we open it here at the at the pool itself. Gotcha. Um, and when you need salt, let's say your salt level is low and it's asking for salt. Mm -hmm. The only thing you do, it's not like a water softener, you don't have a tank or anything like that. You pour it right into the deep end of the main drain and you brush it right to that drain. And that's how you add the salt. I've been doing this for six years and we've probably built maybe two chlorine pools. And that's because the customers really, really wanted it or they wanted to put that money somewhere else. But now, between the cost of the chlorine and the cost of the salt, it's really not, It's. I mean, it's a difference, but it's well worth it. Because the salt, chlorine you get out of pool, everybody here knows, you get that dry feeling, you burn your eyes, you know, you don't want to wear your new bathing suit in there because obviously it's going to turn different colors. Now with the salt, you get out, you feel moisturized. You know, you can open your eyes underwater, it's the same. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge, huge factor for having salt instead of chlorine juice. Coming up, we'll learn how 3D drawings play a big role in what you see is really what you get with a superior pool. But first, air conditioning is all about comfort, but how do you know if your system is doing its job? The simplest way is to ask, am I comfortable? If you're not, the good news is most issues do not spell total doom, and the reasons are fairly common. Here to share more are Jennifer Valentine with Daikin and Charlie Logan with Elite Heating and Air. Hi everyone, I'm Charlie Logan with Elite Heating and Air. And I'm Jennifer Valentine with Daikin. Did you know that over half of Florida homeowners are not as comfortable in their homes as they could or should be? Many don't realize that being more comfortable is even possible, much more comfortable. And that's just a shame because you deserve to be comfortable in your own home. So what do you want when it comes to true home comfort? When talking to consumers, many of their needs were the same and they experienced the same issues. Starting with the most common, the need for a programmable thermostat and knowing how to use it properly so you can always have the temperature you want when you want it. Another reason why programmable thermostats top the list is they help to reduce energy consumption and save you money. Many of you can probably identify with this. Does your home have rooms or entire floors that just don't cool properly? Especially rooms in the back of the house or that are furthest from the AC system? Yep, that's a big one. Sometimes we find thermostats installed in the wrong location, which contributes to that issue of inconsistent temperatures throughout the house. And some have their AC system's fans set to run constantly, which brings in more humidity, making the entire home uncomfortable. Then there are allergies that affect countless people, but many don't realize there is an AC system that could actually help relieve those symptoms. And lastly, People just aren't satisfied with the overall cooling capacity during the hotter parts of the year. If you can relate to any of these situations, then you should know these issues are common but can be resolved. Stop living with the issues and get control of your comfort. If you want true comfort in your home, talking to a home comfort advisor is where you want to start. Yes, and to be clear, there are home comfort advisors and there are contractors. It's important to know the difference. Contractors understand how to sell you a new system, but don't always understand how to select the best system for you because they may not have your true comfort as their priority. But home comfort advisors have your best interest in mind and genuinely want to make sure you get the right system that meets all your comfort needs now and down the road. 
Consumers often just go with the lowest price. And don't get me wrong, price is important, but total comfort is what consumers really want, and that's more important. Identifying and selecting the right company to quote your new system should be your number one goal. And to properly quote a new AC system, there are a few things the AC company needs to do. That's right. They should be checking the ductwork and airflow throughout the home. They should be asking questions about the comfort level in your home and what's most important to you. Very true, Jennifer. Especially with Daikin. There are a multitude of options to help solve a variety of issues. So find your AC guy, one that you trust and that truly knows how to make you comfortable in your home. Also, look for a good company that understands the relationship does not end after the system is installed. It's just the beginning. That's how we built our business. So if you're looking for someone that knows what they're doing, who's not just a contractor, but a home comfort advisor, call Elite Heating and Air. We'll make sure you're getting the right AC system for your home and lifestyle. And remember to ask about Daikin products. Daikin is the largest manufacturer of heating and cooling systems in the world. We don't just manufacture air conditioning, though. We manufacture comfort, efficiency, and control. Thanks, Thanks everyone. everyone. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Buying or selling? Home inspections are not only vital when buying, but selling a home too. They can save you money and speed up the sales process. For questions, call Dave Marvel, certified master inspector and educator at Peace of Mind Home Inspections, a veteran and family-owned company. Smart home technology has come a long way. You can monitor your home from anywhere and create schedules to adjust lighting, temperature, and so much more. Today, all of this can be controlled with one easy-to-use app. For more information, contact Tempest Pro Services, the area's leading technology experts. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's gotta be a kitchen from Murotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. Today, the air is perfect. Inside. Expect more from your cooling and heating. Daikin. We love the pool at nighttime more so, uh, what with the lights, the LED lights, and the fact that the, you can program them to change color perpetually. And then complemented with a fire in the background, even though it's summer, it still looks pretty. So we have the smart, the, the screen logic, smart, uh, smart technology with the pool. So it allows us to control both the heat and the, the spa jets, basically from our phones. So if we're leaving the golf course and decide we want to go to the spa, we or sit in the spa, we can just turn it on and it'll be up to temperature by the time we get home. We can control the lights at night. We can change the colors. We can do pretty much anything we want just from our phone. What made us your final decision? Well, it was a lot of little things to be perfectly honest. Um, we had one contractor out with rope and he's throwing rope on the grass to try and help me visualize how this curvy pool is going to look. And I kept looking at him saying, okay, but curves versus angles, you know, and just couldn't quite grasp it. So it was that lack of um, being able to visually show the customer what it is they're after and, and instead trying to drive their own um, methodologies. Whereas it was complete opposite, as you know, with your company is you come in, you explain what it is that is being offered here, and then you ask a bunch of questions around what it is that we want. And, and you're listening to those details, and you have that 3D software of yours, which is just incredible. You, know, you took the plans of the house and it matched and it was exactly what we we're going to get. I mean, didn't you folks say that that's actually the diagrams you use for the permits? I mean, is that accurate? Correct. The 3D, it actually goes into a 2D program and that's what we use for permitting and build the pool. So, you know, I tell it, 
I tell the designers and the construction that this is their Bible. This thing has to be 100% up front, so it makes everyone's life easy. So, and especially because you sign it too, right? that's what you get. So. Exactly, I mean, to the latter. First recommendation I'd go with is, you gotta get with somebody who's with the times and is using the technology and is able to speak to a, a, a full, a full conversation around the, the complete pool, the whole package. Uh, one of the things we quickly realized with uh, two people that we went with was they were vague in the breakdown of the numbers and they were vague in who the contractors were going to be and when they were going to show up and who's responsible for doing what. So, and that's not the case with superior pools. One of the things we were very impressed with, as soon as you walk in there and you sit down and say, here's what you get when you get a pool from us. These are the services, this is what we handle, these are all the parts. And to get it all out there and it's fully broken down and explained in that manner, it's just so reassuring. You know you're gonna get a good job done because they have the experience and they have a template, a methodology, which is obviously working very well for them. So yes, that's definitely one of the areas to focus to make sure. It's good to have a good idea of what you want to do, your colors and your schemes. But also listen to fresh ideas you know, and see what's available, what other people have been doing, what, not necessarily what's trending, because then you can end up with a fad as opposed to something that's going to last. You have to be comfortable with it and it has to fit your lifestyle as well as your budget. I'm not talking just about the 3D software or the materials on there. I'm talking about the, the, how friendly everybody is, how everybody plays a part and is working together to make sure that uh, the pool is delivered uh, the way you want it, the customer is always satisfied. That's incredibly good. Well, we just want to take this opportunity to thank you guys so much for such a wonderful pool. It was fantastic working with your team. Everybody is in it and they are part of that family, it seems. Thank you so much. Yes, you and your team did a fantastic job. Thank you. Uh, you know, what you said in the beginning is you didn't know if you wanted a pool because all the nightmares out there. And that is our goal to give you the experience that you can remember and still enjoy your pool for years to come. So it sounds like we did that. You certainly did. And yeah. that makes all the hard work pay off. And thank you for becoming a part of our family. As you can see, we're very well joined together and you guys are a part of that now and you can call us for anything that you need and we're here to take care of you guys from now on. <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, when it gets cold out, I might bring my marshmallows over. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you for allowing us to Thank come you. today. And <laughs> Thanks a lot, sir. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. <laughs> Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Thanks so much for joining us on this outdoor living edition of Home Sweet Home. If you would like to watch this episode again or learn more about our experts, visit homesweethomefla.com.